All right, um, time for the Patrol 3 video. Unfortunately, Patrol 3 was a, uh, I'm not sure the right word for it. That would be polite for public broadcast, but nothing interesting happened, really. There's a bunch of aircraft I had to crash dive away from. A whole metric ton of, uh, you know, sampans and junks. Um, the order was to patrol off of, um, between the Solomons and the, uh, New Britain, New Ireland area, and we just didn't find anything. Eventually ended up running out of gas. There actually, um, was one contact, which was a, uh, This uh, was three passenger liners led by a destroyer, and I, you know, I was camping right outside of Rabul, thinking, you know, hey, let's see if anything comes in here. And eventually, something did, and I said, I said, okay, I, I'm getting hungry. It's time for dinner, so I saved and quit. Came back, and they just completely vanished from, you know, when I reloaded the game. I'm guessing it's because they were too close to their. Uh, end of their path and the game decided not to load them or something like that but anyways that patrol was just complete dud uh, when I got back did get issued command of a uh, new salmon class submarine and you can see we've got access to radar now which will really liven things up and the salmon class more than doubles our firepower. It's a lot faster. Have search surface search radar. Um, really, it's a very large upgrade for us, except for the Mark 14 torpedo. But we'll just have to deal with that. Um, what I'm going to do, though. See the way when you upgrade from an S boat to a new boat, you're really short on crew. So what I'm actually going to do is exit here and start a new campaign. Oops. Ah. Okay. And I experimented with this and it set me back something like two months in the war. And I don't really care that much about that. Gonna go for um the special ops which is what I wanted to do in the first place and seven class sub which we just had we're gonna lose on um, crew because all of our veterans are gonna be gone but I figure oh, the most decisive naval battle in US history and whatever which is okay just had a crash, so instead of the sturgeon, getting the stingray instead. The most decisive naval battle. Okay. Now what was happening is the game crashed actually like three times on me, reassigning crew around. So I'm going to be very careful about that this time. Deck gun upgrade for sure. Don't want to use the 20 millimeter ever, but twin 20 millimeters is better than one. Improved air search radar is always a good buy. Though honestly, I'm not sure it actually does anything in the game. Everything else is solid. Need to 
manage crew, but I'm going to save before I do that again. Also, we're going to re-enable the event camera. Okay, now the crew. Do the damage control so. Damn it. Okay, it's actually crashed on me again, so I'm gonna stop playing with the uh, crew. And this is what it's gonna be for now. Um, I think that's the fifth time it crashed on me trying to do that. I wonder if it's actually a problem with the. Uh, the specific sub in the mod. We'll see. Um, I'll customize it further at sea. Alright, just uh, launched the mission to uh, see if it would crash. We're assigning the crew. And it hasn't. So this will be the way I'm set up for damage control and um, anti-aircraft and deck gun. This guy is going to lead the damage control team, should we need it. No. I set this up like this. So he leads my uh, deck gun team. He's the anti-aircraft gunner. These two man the gun. And it's pretty much these four here are responsible for passing the ammo or whatever they do. just like that. And see you on patrol 4.